Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head up towards Helsingborg once again and we're going to revisit a brewery that you only saw me review for the first time very very recently. So we're going to go to the south of the city this time to a little part of it called Roa and we're having a taste of another beer from the Roa Brewery. So this one is their Coconut and it is a porter coming in at 7.3% so they've added lactose to this, they've added chocolate and also coconut so I'm not sure exactly what kind of sub style of porter it fits into but I think it should be really quite interesting I really enjoyed the uh, the eye for an IPA that I had from these guys I was quite impressed with that so I'm very very curious to see about how they do the darker side of things as I've always said if you want a good measure of a craft brewery you need to have something from the darker side of the spectrum and also something from the lighter side of the spectrum so hopefully this is another good beer this is another one that was released through uh, C Stemberlaga on the 1st of February 2019 I can't remember if this was one of the local releases or if it was one of the small parties but because uh, both this time were released on exactly the same day but it should be a really nice beer and as always I hope you guys enjoy my take on this one so anyway as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery if you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below that's the brewery website the link to my other reviews that I've done from Raw Brewery before no doubt I will add some more in the near future there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel of course has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city, state, county, prefecture, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries, there is one there for all the Swedish beers that I've reviewed for you, that's constantly being added to and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway to tell you a little bit about Raw Brewery then. So as I've mentioned to you before, Raw Brewery are from just to the south of Helsingborg. They were founded back in 2015 by Nikolai Gjellström if I'm pronouncing that correctly of course but he'd worked in, he'd worked importing wine for a number of years but he also worked in business development in the grocery trade as well but he later started home brewing and then attended brewing school in Copenhagen before internships at the Huguenis Brewery just a little bit to the northwest of Helsingborg and also the Helsingborg's Brewery which isn't I think it's basically right across the yard actually from the Brewski Brewery who are probably Helsingborg's best known brewery these days and one of Sweden's best known craft breweries but after completing his training he resigned from his job and put together a business plan with four entrepreneurs to start the brewery. He started off with a very small 2,000 litre brewery and over the years they've expanded and they now have a capacity to brew around 750,000 litres of beer per year. They also offer beer tastings in the brewery as well, brewery tours and uh, you can book these up as well and I think they do open up a little kind of um, bar and things like that every so often. I'm not too sure about that. So there was one of my friends was telling me that they might have a little bar there. So maybe I need to get up to Roa and just have a little uh, look at that at some point. But yeah, another very, very interesting small brewery. And there seems to be more and more of them popping up around the uh, the Helsingborg area. I mean, I know you've got a uh, Friends Brewing Company. You've also got Brewski, Helsingborg's Brewery, the Hoogenes Brewery, a little bit out of there as well. Uh, I'm trying to think who I've missed. Yeah, Roa Brewery. Um, Odekra Brewery as well is another one that seems to have popped up up there but yeah lots of little breweries popping up around the kind of northwest corner of Skåne and of course if you go all across this county there seems to be a lot of good little craft breweries popping up as well so yeah Skåne very very good place for craft beer these days and you know probably my favourite one actually it's either Brewski or uh, you've got Malma Brewing Company as well. Both of those breweries are doing some really top class stuff, but the other breweries are all doing some very interesting things too. But yeah, as I always say, I really enjoy introducing you guys to these little local sconce breweries that we have over here in the south of Sweden. So make sure you have a go at some of their beers and uh, just pick a style and you'll enjoy it and you probably will find a pretty good uh, scones take on it. So yeah, that's all you really need to know about Royal Brewery just now. I'm sure we'll return to these guys again in the fairly near future. But if you want to learn more, check out the brewery website in the description below. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram and things like that as well. And that will keep you up to date with all the latest goings on. So yeah, let's get on to the actual tasting of this beer itself then. So I'll just let you have a little look at the artwork of this one before we open it up. There you can see it really nicely presented. Um, I do like these ones where this one's like one of these plastic labels that they've just kind of laid on top of this. I think it's basically uh, colourless, see-through, transparent. Um, but it's just got, you know, the white kind of things. 
um, printed on top of it. So yeah, I do like it when they do bottles like this. And you can see actually up at the top just how dark this beer is. But there you can see, there is the row of bottle cap on this one. I think they're all the same, but they might be slightly different colours. The same design right enough. But yeah, nicely presented beer, this one. As I said at the start of the video, this one is a porter coming in at 7.3%. They've added oats to this one, lactose, coconut and also cocoa. So it should be a really nice, quite sweet porter. It's actually right on the border of what you might consider an imperial porter, actually. You know, these um, sort of um, borders, if you like, between imperial and regular are always a little bit kind of, um, you know, kind of vague, if you like. But I would probably say that over 7.5% is when you're starting to get into uh, imperial porter uh, category. I think it's the same when you're talking about IPAs and stuff. Anything over 7.5% is when you're starting to talk about imperial uh, kind of measures and things like that. But yeah, let's get this guy out and we'll get on with the tasting then. Very curious to see how this turns out. The coconut at 7.3% from Raw Brewery in Helsingborg. You can see nice little bit of smoke on the opening and we'll get this out and into the glass. So there you go. Um, you can just see the difference in the colour of the bottle of this as soon as you pour the beer out. That's quite funny. But straight away, as soon as you pour this beer out, you can definitely smell some of the lactose in there, the chocolate coming out as well, and the coconut very apparent, even from you know about 50 centimetres or something away from the uh, from the glass here. But yeah, really nice looking beer, this one. In terms of its appearance, nothing really surprising about this, considering it's a porter. You know, dark, sort of ebony rosewood colour. If I hold it up to the light, it is actually more of a kind of very dark chestnut, you know, if you put the light through this, it does have that almost kind of Coca-Cola coloured edge to it, that very dark chestnut, slightly ebony colour there. There's a solid half finger of a frothy, kind of medium beige tan head on this one. I don't think it's more tan, I think it definitely is more of a kind of beige quality. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, and a few little ones just heading up towards the bottom of that head. But, you know, overall, um, it does look pretty nice, and as I say, nothing really... Um, Surprising about this one when you consider it is a porter, very close to an imperial porter, as I mentioned, I would say earlier on too. Put, if I put my fingers behind the glass there, you can see very little um, with this beer in terms of transparency, but you know, it is that dark that you aren't really going to see very much through it. But yeah, let's take a closer look at the aroma then, and just see how we get on with this one. Oh, now that smells really nice actually. I mean, in terms of the aroma, you know, when you first smell this, the first thing that comes to my mind is this was more of, a, of an American porter than an English porter, to be honest. You know, the American beer styles, of course, they do, generally, generally whatever style it is, they always do tend to be a little bit sweeter and, and, and more kind of big in terms of their aroma. And to me, this one definitely comes across as more of a kind of American style porter than, uh, than an English porter. But yeah, with this one, um, it's got a really nice aroma to it, actually. It's quite a sweet porter, to be honest with you. So underneath it, you can really smell, um, kind of forming the linchpin of this beer, you can smell there's a good little chunk of brown sugar in there. And it's quite a well, almost well-fired, toasty brown sugar as well. The cocoa's kind of coming out nicely. It's quite a, it's almost a bit like a kind of charred chocolate, to be honest with you as well. There's a little bit of a roasty black malt backbone to this beer, just kind of forming the linchpin of the beer. But on top of that, you're starting to get the... The kind of charred chocolate that I was talking about. There is a, an element of brown sugar, roasty brown sugar to this beer as well. But um, yeah, just the way everything goes together in this one is um, is really, really nice. The coconuts mixing in there as well. There's definitely an element of a woody kind of element to the, the aroma in this beer as well. Maybe a little touch nutty, but I think it's more of a kind of woody quality that comes out of this one. But yeah, um, this one... This is a really, really interesting smelling beer, this. I would really say... I would really say that this is... It, it's definitely got a lovely, kind of, um, dark, roasty kind of quality to it. I mean, you'd always expect that of a porter, but this one's a little bit different. It has that... the woody elements that come out of this one, and the way the coconut kind of infuses into that is very, very nice. The almost charred chocolate uh, aroma that you're getting out of there as well is very kind of curious. There's a little bit of a, an earthy hop to this one as well, which is kind of what you'd expect, and you can pick out there's a little bit of a kind of red fruity ester in there as well. There's a little bit of that kind of juicy figgy quality, but at the same time, you've got a nice kind of... Um, you definitely have a nice little bit of a slightly um, juicy kind of 
um, it's almost a little bit like a kind of candied strawberry if you like, like these little heart shaped sweets that you get in the Haribo Star Mix, it really does remind me of that. So this one really, it's an interesting smell in Porter, pretty much kind of has everything that you would uh, expect of this style to be honest with you, um, but the coconut, the way, the way that the coconut kind of comes out of this and the charred chocolate and the woody and the nutty flavor uh, aromas all interact. It's just absolutely lovely. So as I always say, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of it before you get um, before you get stuck in. But to me, very very nice smelling beer this one. And as I always say, take a little bit of time and just enjoy the aroma before you get stuck into it. But let's have a taste of this one then. So this one is the coconut, a seven point three percent porter from the Raw Brewery, just to the south of Helsingborg here in Skåne in at the south of Sweden. Let's get stuck in. Slange, skull. Oh yeah. That's quite nice actually. I really, you know, this is one of these beers where it's just, it's all about how the different kind of um, elements sort of blend together. Um, there's, you know, going from the aroma of this one, you can tell that it's going to have a little bit of kind of complexity to it. And that really comes out in the flavour nicely. As I said, I was very impressed with the, the eye for an IPA that I had. Um, and I'm only, you know, it's only been a couple of videos between filming that one and now filming this one. And I have to say, um, you know, I've been impressed with both of these beers, actually. They're doing some really quite nice stuff down there. But yeah, I think it's safe to say with this brewery, I'm impressed with both the dark side of things and with the, the lighter side of things as well. So, you know, have a go at some of these beers from Raw Brewery. This is this is pretty impressive, this. Um, so yeah, let's have a little bit of a... Let, let's have a look at the malt base first off on this one. So with this beer, underneath you can feel there is a little bit of that roasty black malt character. That just blankets the middle of the tongue. But it's really kind of nullified a little bit. The lactose is playing a big role in this one. You can feel the lactose just kind of suppressing that um, that roasty black malt quality and just smoothing the whole mouthfeel of the beer out. There's definitely a good little bit of that kind of chocolatey flavour that I was talking about as well. As I said in the aroma, it's quite a well, it's almost like a kind of slightly charred chocolate flavour that comes out of this one, which is really interesting. But yeah, definitely an element of a kind of charred chocolatey quality to this beer. The coconut, I think, is kind of, it's the woody aroma that I was talking about earlier, that comes out a little bit, um, the aroma that I talked about, the flavour of that, just comes out a little bit more towards the front of the palate. You can definitely pick out there's an element of a woody note to this, and right in the centre of your palate there is almost a little bit of a kind of regular nutty quality, not coconut, almost like a, a slight kind of hazelnut or praline or something like that. There is just an element of a kind of regular kind of nutty flavour to this one, but the chocolate um, the sort of chocolatey and woody flavours, they really mix very well with the kind of coconut additions that they've made to this beer. They've added a good few adjuncts to this one right enough, but it really does all piece together very, very well. And this is one of these beers where it's really about how all these flavours kind of mix together and interact. But I'll say straight away, you know, Raw Brewery, I'll give them a big thumbs up for this. I really think this is a, a very, very solid porter that they've come out with and you know there's not too many breweries actually brewing porters these days so that makes it kind of particularly impressive the focus always seems to be on uh, IPAs and paleos and double IPAs particularly New England stuff um, these days so for a brewery to come out with one of their new beers and um, you know and do this as well as they have I think that's 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 a kind of testament to this brewery so you know have a go at some of these raw beers as I was saying earlier and um, when I was having a little look at uh, this one on rate beer earlier on because I was curious about it it said there seems to have been a couple of different iterations of this so the one on rate beer this is actually listed as being 7% ABV um, and you know I'm, I'm guessing they've probably changed the recipe of this they've maybe had a release that's only been for the restaurants and things like that and this is a, a say Stembo Lager release um, so maybe they've changed the recipe a little bit of this one recently I would suspect they have to be honest if there's two different listings for it there um, but you know this is a very very strong beer and it comes across um, very nicely so you know if you like the porter style and you like your porters to be a little bit sweeter then this is one that you're definitely going to enjoy But yeah, it's um, it's really nice this one. I like how everything 
kind of uh, goes together on this. It's, it's, this is definitely one of these beers where it's all about how the, the blend of flavours goes together. Um, and this very, very centre of your palate, there's maybe a little hint of a brown sugar in there, a very slight kind of sweet caramel. Um, but not too much actually. This beer, as I say, in terms of a porter, it really does lean towards the sweet side of things and it's the lactose and the caramel that's really giving it that kind of smooth, uh, sorry, the lactose and the coconut rather, that's giving it that um, that sweetness. I mean, if you like bounty chocolate bars, then I think this is one that you are um, probably going to enjoy. It just goes together really quite nicely. Um, in terms of the the hoppy side of the beer then, in the back corners of the palate, a little touch of earthiness there. It does have a little tiny bit of bitterness in the back corners of the palate, but as you come further forward along the sides of your tongue, it really does just smooth out a little bit. Um, and at the very front corners of the palate, you can pick out there's a little tiny touch of floral quality in there, and then round the very front curve of the palate, you've got this nice lighter sort of um, very light kind of grassy quality to the beer in there. And if you go behind the front curve of the palate, of course, that's where you get that little oily bubble where some of those juicy fruity esters start to come out of the beer. So for me with this one, I would say there's a little bit of a... Um, there's definitely a little bit of a, a, a very slight kind of figgy quality to this one, but it's very, very mild actually. It's probably, to be fair, it's probably more along the lines of a kind of candied strawberry or something like this, just a very, very light candied strawberry, but in fairness, the further into the aftertaste you go, I can really feel the coconut even pushing towards the very kind of front edges of the tongue as well. The coconut flavours are everywhere in this, but um, that's probably one of the things that makes this a very, very solid porter. I mean, when you get a beer that's called Coco Knot, um, you, you know, you expect a good chunk of uh, coconut in there, but it's really not that overpowering. It, it is the mainstay of the beer, if you like, but it's not overpowering to the point where you're just like, you know, there's n this beer's quite one-dimensional. and um, You know, this is a beer that does have a good few kind of dimensions to it, and it's very, very well balanced, I think. You know, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this one again. And the Porter, as I've told you before on the channel, it's a style that I don't drink all that often. And when you find one like this that is pretty solid, I would say, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a little bit of a special moment, actually. So if you get the chance to try this one, and you, I think you will enjoy it. If you like the style and you like sweet kind of stouts and sweet porters and stuff like that, you will enjoy it. So if you like bounty chocolate bars, basically, I think this is a beer that you are really going to enjoy. But as I say, fruity side of things, just quite a mild, very light, candied strawberry flavour coming out of this one. Um, in terms of the mouthfeel, then, this beer is... Um, You know, yeah, bottom end of mid body to top end of light body. You do expect that from a porter, right enough. It is meant to be a light, kind of sessionable beer, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, I would, to be honest, I would say the top end of light bodied for this one. Carbonation is very, very smooth. It's got quite a wet mouthfeel, this one, but there is an, an element of, an, of a very slight oily. Um, kind of element to the beer as well, but it's got quite a wet mouth feel in fairness. A little bit of hoppy bitterness, I think you'd be lucky to get around, you know, th maybe 30 IBUs at most out of this beer. But that said, some of the roasty black malts do start to push their way out a little bit more in the further into the aftertaste you go, so that will be contributing to the bitterness a little bit. Nice smoothness in the malt base, a little bit of sweetness as well. Um, and a little touch of a kind of juicy, fruity note in there. I would say the malt base really leans towards that kind of smooth, very slightly creamy and sweet side of things. That's dominating the flavour, but as I say, the further into the aftertaste you go, you start to get a little bit more of a roasty bitterness out of it, some juicy fruits in there, and just a little tiny touch of hoppy bitterness as well. But as I've said a couple of times, very, very solid porter, and I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink this again. If you like some of the Omnipoyo beers, the big Imperial Stouts and stuff, this is a nice kind of almost session version of that. They've done a great job of this, and uh, I certainly wouldn't hesitate to drink it again. I've only had maybe two or three coconut porters for you on the channel, but this one, uh, I'm, I have to say, I'm particularly impressed with. So I really want to try some more of the beers from Roe Break Reach now, and I think these guys might be one of the breweries that you want to watch going forward. But yeah, let's leave it at that for this. So yeah, this was the Coconut um, an uh, almost an imperial porter, a porter at 7.3% with coconut, lactose, uh, cocoa, 
and a couple of other things added to it but a very very nice sweet porter and one that I definitely recommend that you try so once again thank you for watching my beer reviews until the next time please like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below let me know what your favourite beers are from the Raw Brewery as well I'm sure I'll return to these guys in the near future and it is very very cool to see another Scones Brewery uh, producing beers just like this so I'm looking forward to more from these guys in the future and you can be guaranteed that I will review these for you over the next little while but thanks again for watching and I will catch you guys very soon make sure you check out my social media and make sure you try some of these beers from the Raw Brewery until the next time it's landed just now and I'll catch you guys later this is the coconut from Raw, uh, Raw Brewery just outside of Helsingborg here in Skoda in the south of Sweden Slange, Skull